sure the crowd will enjoy it. First ball of the game, and Pakistan are away. First run, always important. A good job for India in recent times. On the line again, the ball's in the air, but it's cleared mid-on. Again, they're racing away to the boundary. You only have to beat the infield on these grounds, and the ball fairly races away. Well, as you're saying, when Afevi is no more in the centre, Ramin Saja is the one who's going to take the one and give Saeed Anwar as much strike as possible. And Saeed, without being a pinch hitter, and now that they have lost uh, Saeed Afevi. Lashes through the offside, too much width. Passard under pressure, there's always already been some field changes forced upon him. So the delivery goes over the... doing, he's just making sure that any opportunity that's been given to him by these two Indian bowlers is making for him. Well, again, the flash and go, that's gone all the way. Timing and placement, unbelievable hit. So Passard is under pressure. That was a remarkable shot, and it went very high, but it also went very far. That was on the leg stump, something which I'm sure Sachin is arguing with. That ball wasn't really right up to him, it wasn't uh, really a half volley sort of delivery, but uh, Saeed and was such a great timer of the ball, the ball going very high and very far. So Kumbhla it is now to Saeed Anwar. And that smash straight down the ground. Or a boundary. Oh, just going over the rope. He didn't really time it well, but got enough pat on that for the ball to reach the fence. Straight away putting pressure on Anil Kumble. Sayyad Wall was straight away very quick on, on that half volley. Taking full advantage. And this is what happens when batsmen are in. And that's why these two batsmen should stay there and try and see Pakistan through. this one but Ganguly is out there in the deep and he goes over the top and very clean one bounce over the rope another boundary here for Anwar that is why it's so important that these two batsmen should stay in the pick the loose balls out very quickly to expose a new batsman there taking time to play himself in and they certainly can pump anything loose, as we've just seen there. Good shot. Front foot right out to it and picking it up very early and hit it into the outfield. Well, now good thinking by Tendi Raja Ken, giving him good company. And Anwar goes here over the top. Again, lovely piece of timing. One bounce over square leg for four. Certainly a lovely shot. Certainly wasn't a bad delivery that the batsmen are in. Their eyes are in, they got to pick the bounce to the ball, the length, and Amwar was, e was uh, able to pick that up quite early and go with the movement of the ball. A lovely shot. Going over the top here, there is a man at square leg. And a good stop there by Ganguly. That's a favorable bounce. In this pitch for Pakistan, he's just saying that. Charging and hitting over the top. Yes, he's got it over mid-arm. Two bounces for four. There's a man out there at the deep, wide, long arm, but couldn't get across to it. And a, and a 15 for Saeed Anwar from just 44 balls. So he's taken over the mantle from a 3D magnificently here this afternoon. A very brilliant 50 by Saeed Anwar. And uh, he will have done Pakistan a lot. Charging and going for the big one, it's a miscue, but it'll be good enough nevertheless. He did get hold of it, tried to hit it into the stand, but the full flow of the bat took it through to the fence. Fomo to Anri uh, Saeed Anwar and Fomo to Pakistan. It was a flattish uh, trajectory, but Saeed Anwar was quick to pick it up early, and he found a gap between mid wicket and mid on. There wasn't enough turn in the ball. But Saeed Anwar, we have seen him doing in West Indies. And instead, his uh, there Saeed Anwar beating the inside team. And what timing, that was brilliant timing 
Once that ball beat the inside field, that went past the boundary line. Four runs to side and were brilliantly played. And that was just stroke. He didn't even try and hit it too hard. Just a tap there. And it also beat the man a third man. Robin Singh here, continue. Again, beautifully timed by Anwar. Long chase here for the man, a deep point, but that's the chase and win. He's really teasing the fielders here, Saeed Anwar, making them run all the way. And then just beating them, beating them in the end. There it is, he's just angling the bat. Perfect timing, and by angling that bat, he's making sure that he beats the inside field. And there's the ball, just beating Anil Kumble. Desperate dive there, but the ball beat in the mound to follow. I'm sure Pakistan will be looking for a big score. And there, once again, Saeed Anwar bisecting those two fielders who are specifically there for that job to prevent that from happening. But once again, Saeed Anwar playing very late and then right in the middle. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if this has come off the bat. This is another boundary for Pakistan. Yes, a boundary signal. Saeed Anwar, he's on strike here to Robin Singh. That could be it. His 12th hundred in one day international cricket. His first against the Indians. And it's been a superb knock by this flamboyant left-hander from Pakistan. And that was a brilliant knock. And what, how nice to see not only his teammates cheering from the dressing room, but also the huge crowd here. They are uh, celebrating his hundred. And by doing that, obviously... Yeah. Giving Anwar as much strike as he can. Robin Singh continues. In the air and over mid-off. A couple of bounces into the boundary. That's pretty tough work for the bowlers. He timed it nicely and placed it where he wanted to. Over the top of mid-off. And even though he played far away from the body, he can afford to do so because he's been in long enough and he's had a fairly good look at the Indian bowling. What he's trying to do right now. And uh, again, gives the full flow of the bat as he so wants to do, and he's done so well today. It was a bad ball, pitched on the leg stump, and Anwar did well to keep it down. And along the ground, fetching him four more runs. You're bowling to a man well set, you got the ball well. And look where the ball is pitched. Anwar had all the time in the world to go for the sweep. Well, it'll just about do it. That'll take him to 121. It goes past the highest score formerly held by Javed Meandad of 119, scored at Lahore in 82 83. And really, the Indian bowlers are copying some stick here now. I don't think they're really bowling to the field, and this particular delivery, the way it raced to the boundary, it's, uh, the sun going down. Well, maybe it's the moon coming up. I think the players will be happy the sun's going down. And there's four more. Well, either way, whether the sun going down or the moon coming up, the fact remains that the ball is not running for the Indians. As you see it, four more runs. And uh, that is how Yoshi went for a good lap down the square leg. This time he took it over mid wicket. That's where he was looking to find the gap, and he's done so for four. Tried off the first ball of the over. This time he does connect. Away from another boundary. Well, they say if you swing often enough, sometimes you connect as a Bring it across, but this time with a straighter bat and picked it up into the open gap. But to bring to run a ball if he gets uh, half the number of balls to be bowled. And this one could be out for the ball. And our understanding is that it was dropped. He just couldn't quite pick it up. And it could have been palmed over for six. So single six and Kumble not happy. Yes, pitched up. It's very difficult to tell here. Sitting down right under the pad here. But again, you see, just at the top of his fingers, like a goalkeeper, and just pushed it into the boundary. 
So Yoshi got up there, tended to tip it over, it was a few metres in from the edge. Going again, and really trying to hit this one for six, and it has gone. Well, this man could end up with 200 the way that he's going. Plus. Certainly swinging across this one, but picking it up, and certainly clearing the fence there. At this rate, Pakistan would probably be looking for over 300 runs if he continue in this move. It's down here, it's down the field, and just watching it fall over the top of him over the mid-wicket. So, magnificent hitting here, showing total caution to the wind, but finding the middle of the back. Tremendous stuff. Three balls, three wickets again, getting up under the ball, picking it up very sweet. Lovely hit. Three balls, three sixes. Without. 20 off the over so far, ruining Finlay's figures. Got to get him in the block hole, he didn't, it was a big full pass, and he's just cheated a bit by comparison, it still goes for four, so 24 from the over, 246, 247. Oh, that's brilliant batting. Again, picking his spot, just walking across the stump, so that he could get the placement right on the onside. That was brilliant, there's no doubt about it. And one really wonders if uh, Said Anwar has to have a pinch hitter along with him to bat. And we saw in the first two matches, in the first two innings, when after they were to give him extra deliveries. And he blazes at that one, and that will be similar on the offside. Well, not a boundary to Said Anwar. He really has been dealing in boundaries here this evening. And the remarkable thing about the innings is that every time he's piercing the field with beautifully timed shots, he's also finding the gaps. And uh, very difficult to set a field to any batsman in such form. Another no ball. And this is what India just cannot afford to do. Not only a Pakistan got... And that's very nicely played on the wrong side. He's become the highest scorer in one year's He knows it, and the crowd rise up to cheer him at one. Terrific innings from Said Anwar, 190 not out. What a magnificent sight to see the crowd cheering him and him acknowledging. He knew it the moment he hit that ball, he knew it was going for four, and knew that he was going to break the record of Vivian Richard. And the good thing to say is the crowd appreciated. chance here for him to get a double hundred. That will take some beating. Again, very intelli intelligently played. And he's now got another boundary here. He's back behind point in the air. And again found the gap. He's got a remarkable knack of uh, finding these gaps and there it is he knew it the moment he hit the four he knew that he has uh, achieved a huge landmark and uh, Inzimam al Haq congratulating him there and that is a magnificent performance and this is gone in here this will be a very good catch if he gets this with the edge and also before the name from Said Anwar getting the top edge there Going away at the short final. And I think that's Tarek Tanguli who has uh, taken that magnificent catch and in the process has probably hurt himself. And the day they are congratulating Saidan, well, that was a nice gesture, nice touch there. The day they are going up to Saidan well, and congratulating him. And great innings coming to an end. That's one of the all-time great innings in one-day cricket. What a waiting he's getting. He's put his team in a commanding position here. Shai Daprini, who did most of the running for him, rightly giving him a hand. 297 for four, Pakistan.
outside Anwar, getting the top edge in brilliant catch. There's no doubt about it, but I think he's badly hit because his head, when it fell, hit the ground in 